My computer stopped working. I tried everything, but Sovereign collapsed. Now, how did I get there? It was not that easy. The only thing I could see, it still turned on. There was energy. It wouldn't post. And just sometimes it would appear a white dash in the left superior corner. And I was like, what's this? It was my only clue. So troubleshooting. I had no access to the bias. No post. I removed the CMOS battery. I tried to short circuit. Nope. Change the graphic card. Remove the graphic card because my CPU got integrated graphics. Still no. Nope. Remove all the RAM. Try all the combinations possible. One stick, two sticks, two sticks on one, two sticks on two. Try all those things. Remove the CPU. Check the thermal paste. Uh, check everything. Put everything back again. There was nothing damaged visibly. Each time I turn it on, it would get stuck on the VGA light, white light. Why this is happening? So I changed the PCU too, just to try. Nothing happened. Till I went to Reddit. What's this white dash? And somebody said, oh, it's a problem with the boot device. The only thing I didn't do was remove the Sabran. This is where my operative system was installed, Windows 10. And I remove it and everything started working. At least I could access the BIOS. Because I was thinking, oh, did I burn the BIOS? Because uh, I updated a few days ago. Nope, BIOS is working perfectly. There is no issues. And it was just strange. Then I tried to put the Sabran and other SSD connections I have. Same problem again. Put an external drive, it doesn't recognize it. Okay, okay, apparently the product got five years of guarantee. But just to refer, my operative system was installed in this drive using 30% only of our capacity of 500 gigs, so we were just running the programs. 70% was completely free. Any downloads or heavy writings were sent to other drives. That's why I got my second SSD even. So it was in pretty good condition. I mean, it was really well treated. Now, the Sabran software is quite basic and I'll show you a picture in there. Nothing special. When I run a third party once, even the Sovereign one was saying 100% health. The other one says 98 health. I was like, oh, that's weird. Uh, I didn't give too much importance. I detected that a month ago and I was like, okay. I didn't notice much signs, but a few months when I shut down the PC, they were taking like 15 seconds as usual. Started taking like a minute and a half. That was the only booting was still very quick. So then lately I just had blue screens opening, fatal error, and it would just go to the BIOS. And I would have to restart the power and then it would go to Windows 10. I was like, this is a bit weird because there were some updates. I removed the updates and apparently everything was solved, but then the same thing started happening. In the last day, blue screen, BIOS, blue screen, BIOS. And I was like, what the hell is up? Trying to remove stuff trying to push updates away and got to a point blue screen no bias just darkness and sometimes the white dash in the corner and i was like holy i went to the customer support because this is only seven months and then i started reading the amazon reviews and it was not good so between six to eight months normally they fail of course attention people will complain are always the ones who have failures the other ones they don't even review it it's quick yeah it's great bye and the other problem if you're outside of america they always complain the same you need to send the drives back to them and pay international shipping uh, i was like okay that doesn't sound good i complained to amazon amazon said oh that's the third party the third party said oh contact sovereign and i went i went to their site easiest so site to use i did read the article the guy complains about the same it's really hard to make a complaint in there and have continuity if they give you answer you need to open again a new complaint and do everything again and put the product and everything so it's a bit not great i did complain to them on facebook i was like hey i only work for seven months and i'm still waiting for amazon response at this point third party seller the guy amazon should just contact me or contact us and we just resupply it they are still amazon i just have a different name and i was like okay this represent and just solve everything very quickly he just contacted me a message and said just ask me pictures of the ssd drive and the invoice i send it said amazon should just contact us we would just resupply it very quickly no problems with that he did say sometimes they ask them for people to ship it because they have the four gig one and eight gig one and people buy the 250 and replace the stickers from one to another and say oh this is broken they had a lot of scams like that anyway confirm my address and send me a new one 501 but there was some likely incorrection in the address just because you put gb and fedex accepted like that because the postcode had these extra letters they were like oh this is incorrect we cannot deliver this package you need to give us the right postcode i give them the right post you cannot correct it like this that's incorrect in the case it was a delay because this would arrive me in two days the representative was really cool he said okay sorry my mistake i don't know why fedex didn't detect that immediately i'm gonna send you another one because of your troubles they sent me one terabyte one and now i got one terabyte sovereigns now 
will I use this for my operative system? No. So I found out there is four types of SSDs and this is a QLC. And I'm gonna start to use the TLC, at least for the operative system, if not lower. This is the picture that I explained. QLC, they put more megabytes in memory cell and they're way cheaper, but they give more problems. TLC is less, but they give less problems. That's why I learned very quickly. So I order one. QLC you shouldn't use for our operative system, but for some files, it's fine. That's the cheap one. I bought the TLC from Samsung. They have better software and customer support is more linear. 98 Pro, Samsung is not perfect. They do very dodgy things. There's a lot of fake things around. Software is good. And I never had problems before. Uh, Evo, very old, it's still going beyond more than five years in this case. So yay. But I advise you, Use at least a TLC type, 500 gigabytes for your operative system. That's what I learned very quickly now. They are less prone to failure. Because now I have to install everything again. I had the programs in the other disk. I can install everything. It's just now the settings and ugh, do all those things again. Gonna be a bummer. How many hours it's gonna take me and how many days already lost and I don't have access to my computer. Open this box and open. Shouldn't be anything fancy. There it is. I'm going to do the install. So to do the installation. I got two entries, but to install, I'm just going to put one. Put the fan. Graphics. Power supply. Windows install. So this was my adventure. There in the white dash in the corner of my screen. Hope this video helped you if you got problems and distinguish between uh, SSD and types of SSD why you should use one instead of the others. Cheap ones, maybe they are less durable and give you more problems, more compression in the cells. See you in the next video, hope you like it. And yeah, uh, now I need to do something with this. Good brand, but still needs uh, a bit of time to develop. I had an excellent experience with the customer support. If your name is William, William, you're five stars. Uh, I'm doing this video, but there's other factors in here type of SSDs and yeah and now my computer is working and I was able to update to Windows 11 even.